Dr. Hayek Nikogasyan is a representative of World Health Organization. Uh, he was making the first move today in the game of uh, Levon Aronian. Uh, was it your first time to make a chess move? Yes, for myself many times, but for somebody, uh, for a Grand Master, yes, that's the first time. Very exciting, yes. So uh, you're also a chess player? Uh, well, I played when I was young. I'm not really a professional chess player, but I really like playing chess and, uh, and play sometimes. Yeah. And are you acquainted to Livon Aronian? Yeah, I like his game very much, except he's, of course, of Armenian national. That's another factor. But uh, he is a pride of Armenia. And we very, very, I mean, very, uh, many Armenians follow his games, I think. Uh, and he's number one in the Armenian team, one of the best grandmasters in the world. Uh, but I especially like his game. That's uh, kind of, you know, uh, artistic mm -hmm. nature of his game is, is special. You know, there is no just a sport, but there is some artistic features which he shows. So you're an expert in health. Uh, how do you think chess influences health? Well, I think there are uh, interesting links there. Uh, so it's uh, 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 for the mind, uh, for the development. Uh, mm -hmm. Chess is, uh, you know, a great, uh, great thing um, for the childhood, but also for adults. And I myself, uh, you know, when I am very tired and very stressed, you know, would like just to play or even watch the, you know, online the chess games, and that brings a lot of, you know. Well, I think it's healthy. I know that there were some uh, researchers that uh, playing chess, uh, especially in the old old age, is helping uh, to stop uh, dementia and other diseases uh, in old people. Uh, do you know anything about that, and do you agree with that? Well, I have not seen that particular research, but I, have li I believe that you know that that should be beneficial. You know, mm -hmm. chess uh, chess is a strong exercise for the, for the brain and. Uh, you know, it should really, I mean, I believe that research, that research is correct, you know. So, although I'm not familiar with that particular mm -hmm. research, but I believe that that is correct, that it, the, the link is, should be clear there. Can we expect one day that the World Health Organization will recommend chess as a, tr like, uh, some kind of training for mental health? Well, I have to look at our health policy documents on mental health. Possibly there is something already there, or <laughs> close to that, but it's not far from the truth, you know, let's put it that way. I think for, uh, you know, for mental, not only mental health, for mental well-being, mm -hmm. but also for the development of the person, for the intellectual development of the person, which is part of the overall development mm -hmm. and well-being. Uh, because the World Health Organization advocates not only for health, but also for well-being. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's in, in a broader sense. Uh, I think uh, in that sense, yeah, chess, chess has, a, has, a, has a special place, you know, possibly to, to play, you know, and it can be promoted. Thank you very much. Thank you, and thank you for inviting me.